Alright, hey everybody, my name is Utah Guys. Sorry about the background noise because I live with people. Anyways, we're here with Mullins today talking about the top 10 people that WWE could just straight up take if they buy TNA. Mullins, how you doing today? I'm uh, doing pretty good. It's pretty good to hear. Let's get right into the list. Number 10, um, I actually want to bundle some people together, like tag teams and stuff of that nature. Number 10 easily is The Decay. Um, oh, yeah, especially easily. with especially with this whole aspect that Mick Foley is general manager of Raw, I could really see you know Abyss and Mick Foley have you know another close bonding moment. And aside from if they were to split up the Decay, clearly Crazy Steve would go into that cruiserweight division. It'd be dumb if they split them up, but it could happen. Abyss, of course, top heavyweight guy, and um, Rosemary is Rosemary, of course, great talker. She could work with pretty much anybody on the roster but I think it would be better to keep the Decay together maybe have them in NXT sadly I don't think they'd be straight up on the main roster like what we've seen yeah that, that, that sounds like a team that you would have to work with and decide on something to do with them exactly so let's go to number 9 number 9 I have um, is Cody Rhodes who clearly they're just going to take right back <laughs> Yeah. And, um, hey Cody welcome back <laughs> and uh, with that, with that for number eight, also I put Drew Galloway. And unlike Aaron Rex, who I'm not going to put on this list, I put Drew Galloway because if you if you compare like at Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes who just left, they probably want him back. All right, before he goes and does something yeah, big. Yeah, C- Cody, C- Cody. Th- that's why they won't release his name. I think they are holding out hope that he'll get over whatever he's on right now. Mm-hmm. And he'll eventually just say, okay, you know what, let's just go back. Whereas if you look at Drew Galloway, he's one that they've definitely dropped the ball with. And since he's gone to the indie scene, he has been phenomenal. So there's that. All right, you ready for number seven? I have Eli Drake. The man is pouring with charisma. You have Another to- guy that would be dropped the ball maybe too soon. He was down in the developmental, and they didn't really see anything they liked with him, so they cut him loose. TNA picks him up, and the rest is history. Exactly. You'd have to be an idiot. Actually, no, you have to be a dummy, yeah, to drop the ball with Eli Drake. Just imagine, stupid idiot, dummy. That'd be fun. Anyways, oh, it'd be hilarious. Anyways, on to number six here tonight. I have a man you might know, Derek Bateman, EC3. I don't know if they'll keep him as EC3, though, if they already grab him. Probably not, um, especially because I think they will keep Dixie Carter far away from WWE as possible. They probably won't take her. So there's that one. Any comments on EC3? Um... I like that, but the thing is, what, what name would you give him? Because Derek Bateman, when I think back to Derek Bateman, he was a joke. Mm-hmm. It was a joke gimmick. It was a, oh, yeah, I'm a goofy guy. Da, 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 da. They had him with Daniel Bryan doing all that fake karate stuff whenever like that was like his mentor for NXT. Mm-hmm. And, like, so they would have to give him a new name, but and that would be the interesting part of what would they get, what would they call him. Exactly. Number they, five. Would they just call him EC3. Number five, I have um, Lashley. I think I think this would be a great opportunity to bring Lashley back. Especially this is the guy that like Vince Smackdown. wants back, probably. Yeah, this is the guy that Vince probably wants back. Especially because he's always been a great talker, but since leaving the WWE and seeing what he's done in TNA, phenomenal. All right. Yeah, he's he's ten times better than he was back when he was with the WWE. Mm-hmm. And it's like almost like a different person. And on to number four, um, I will not say Gail Kim, but I will say Sienna. And if they were to get Sienna, there would definitely be that Maria Canellis, Ali, them working together. Maybe just Sienna, but I'm gonna just say Sienna for the fact of this, because the next person we'll get into ties into Maria. Of course, you can guess who that is. But I think Sienna would be perfect for the women's division. It's very lackluster right now. Um, especially they need women that can actually fight, and yeah. that's someone like her. That like that they're getting back. They're, they're unfortunately heading back in that direction of hey, you're really good looking. Let's sign you. Mm-hmm. Next up on our list we have is Mike Bennett. Mike Bennett. Do I need to the, say this more? Is, I, I think we 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 could literally just move on to the next one and. If people don't get why Mike Bennett's on this list or why Mike Bennett's this high on the list, then much like Eli Drake before, they're a dummy. Yeah. Yep. 
On to the next person here, I have Brother Nero and Broken Matt Hardy. All There's right. only one thing that would stop this. Exactly. Now, and we be, all know what that is. To be realistic, though, to be realistic, I think that they would take Broken Matt Hardy, and you would have to get Brother Nero and Robbie Sky, of course, to tie in. Because other than not, it would just it wouldn't make any sense just to have Broken Matt Hardy. You would have to have Brother Nero there, especially because Jeff is a big fan. Everybody loves Jeff, so there's that and then our final person actually isn't a person i think it's the x division they would just scoop up the entire x division and they use would them. every one of them and they would help them fix this cruiserweight division that yes. if you remember when we were talking about before we talked about how they are kind of dropping the ball in the cruiserweight division mm -hmm. rockstar spot of course is great mark andrews is great you got the Helms dynasty. People would love to see Hurricane Helms back uh, in the WWE. DJZ, which is great. The Wolves, which could possibly be a tag team. For the most part in TNA, I feel like there's not too many people that they just would decline a contract to and be like, well, sorry, you're going to have to find another company unless they're very spiteful, um, which of course would be like the executives and people like that and some women here and there and some filler people that they just you know wouldn't really need to be over on the states unless they were going to be full time over here. like aaron so, rex i don't think that they'd keep him after they they, they didn't like him before what well, would make them like him now mm -hmm. and sadly more than not i would think that some guys like james storm would just up and retire if that was to happen to tna sadly and uh, so same thing with like jeremy borash and um, yeah certain people would end up retiring because it'd be better off and you can just make indie appearances, still make money, and just off based off your name and your schedule would lighten up. Mm -hmm. So that's our discussion on the top 10 people that TNA would hire. You got any thoughts, comments, concern down below.